And then, I always like to look around the babblers at this time of the year. Oh, there, 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 there. Go up, you see the one that just flew there? Yeah, up, up top, up, there. In, the middle, zoom, there. Up. Yeah, look. That's not a babbler. <laughs> what is that, everybody? I thought I saw that as it flew off. It thinks it's a babbler. The babblers think it's a babbler, but it ain't a babbler. Oh, that's very cool. Have a guess. What do you think that that was, thinking it was a babbler, but isn't a babbler? And I'll try and find a picture of it. Oh, I think that's such fun. Any ideas, everybody? Any ideas what has conned the babblers? Cruelly insinuated itself on their lives? I don't think I've seen that particular species. That is a babbler. We're still looking at a babbler there. The offending bird is behind the main branch there. Right, and John in Colorado, absolutely bang on. It's a cuckoo. So that cuckoo was born into the babbler flock during the course of the summertime. And it's... <laughs> Often what happens is that the, when the adult cuckoos leave, the young cuckoos will spend their first winter in the same domain that they were born. And then they'll start migrating next year. And so I was just saying, as that thing flew up out of the grass, I said, I often love, I really enjoy looking at birds around at them at around this time of the year, because uh, so often you will find in a babbler flock a cuckoo. Now normally, you would expect to find the Lavalliance cuckoo with them, but that was not a Lavalliance cuckoo, I don't think. There it is, the striped or Lavalliance cuckoo, and they parasitize babblers. Now, I think that that was a great spotted cuckoo or a standard issue African cuckoo. Let's just have a look here. African cuckoo is supposed to only be. Um, sorry, don't go to the text there, Senzel. The African cuckoo is supposed to only parasitize the fork-tailed drongo. I didn't, that definitely wasn't, definitely wasn't um, a fork-tailed drongo flock. So let's go across. The other thing it could have been was a young thick-billed cuckoo, not a thick-billed cuckoo, young great spotted cuckoo. And they normally parasitize crows and starlings. But it could still be one of those, because I have seen plenty of great spotted cuckoos in this area. So I'm going to go with juvenile great spotted cuckoo. I'm also just going to consult my bird app a little bit later and because that's got a bit more detail in it. Isn't that cool? Alright, so I do a little bit more investigation here. Taylor has found what 